remember Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus? You know, it was that game Square Enix pumped out during the Final Fantasy VII comeback of 2006 that proved that Square was hip and cool with the emo youth. <laughs> Now, most people probably at least recognize this game at the bare minimum since it's part of the Final Fantasy VII canon, and I know the people who have played this are like, oh yeah, this game was not good. Yeah, there's the kicker. See, this is the ugly, brain-dead stepchild Square is embarrassed to talk about since it got too close to their perfect, beautiful little princess schnookums Final Fantasy VII, their pride and joy in the game that they still bank on to be relevant. Topical jokes are funny, am I right? But for reals though, with Crisis Core and Advent Children being a thing, Square wanted a new, fresh type of Final Fantasy VII spin-off game to shake up the formula. And of course, with shooters being on the rise and the greatest album ever created came out, you put all the neato stuff of the year into a blender with a dash of boring, unoriginal, and bland design, and you get Dirge of Cerberus. To catch you non-Final Fantasy fans up, Dirge of Cerberus focuses on Vincent Valentine, a fan favorite from Final Fantasy VII, who didn't get a whole lot of backstory in the original game. Even though he's really neat and cool and a mystery and one of the best characters in the game, hands down, no really guys, I love Vincent Valentine so much. Have you seen that hair? Have you seen that cape? Holy crap, look at his eyes, he's so beautiful. Hands down, favorite character. <laughs> And go figure, the dude uses a gun as a weapon, so the game is a shooter, naturally, so that's not that crazy of an idea, so we're all well and good on that end, yes, yes, yes. So you got a cool character set in an interesting universe with combat centered around that character. <gasps> So what went wrong? Well, there lies the tricky thing, kiddos. See, Dirge of Cerberus isn't bad bad, it's just bland. Like boring. Like painfully boring. Like do not operate heavy machinery or else someone is going to die boring. Surprise, surprise, y'all. But shooting the same dudes over and over again on a linear track with no variety will get real old real fast. So it's like pew, 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 snore, 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 snore. <laughs> The levels were dull, enemies were just moving targets, and half of the bosses were broken since you could buy items and ammos mid-fight, so there goes all your challenge. Who thought this was a good idea? It's sitting right there for realsies. No one noticed. But the game is just bland and uninspired, lazy in some areas, short, and well, it's just, it's just it's not good. The only real quote-unquote saving grace of the game was the story, but even that was a stretch for most people. Yeah, the game elaborated on more Final Fantasy VII lore. Yeah, you got to see Vincent in sweet, sweet, sexy action. Yeah, you get to see that gang again in glorious HD. But it wasn't enough if you ask me. Darn, I say it wasn't fan y enough. Because most of the game, you're stuck with a neon Xerox machine. Villain so cliche, it's kind of adorable. And ugh. The most annoying character that I have ever encountered in any game, and this is no exaggeration, guys. This is really that bad. Thank God you can skip cutscenes in this. Gosh diddly dang Lucrezia. The human tear factory and local idiot. I'm so sorry. God, I hate this bitch. The point is, the story isn't that great either, and the game was so messed up when it launched in Japan that it had to be reworked for Americans, and everyone over here was still like, Ay, <laughs> I'll play this instead, you know, the good spin-off. So overall, the game is just kind of a wash that really isn't worth your time. But, 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 big old but, yes, yeah, stop, but, but, but. I don't know what it is, maybe some divine intervention, nostalgia, or the fact that I was dropped on my head a lot as a kid, I don't know. But I love this game. A lot. And I can't explain it. Of course, maybe it's because Vincent Valentine is my official bae. You know, that may have something to do with it. But uh, yeah, honestly, who knows? I just love playing this piece of Garbo. This game is officially my favorite quote-unquote bad game. Like how Sonic 06 is for most people, or Duke Nukem, or Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Rather it be the setting or the characters, I just love playing this game. And what's really a shame is that there is such a good game in here. Like flying around as a vampire emo with a gun fighting light of chungus to save the world from the apocalypse. Sign me the f*** up! This could have been an amazing game if they just would have put some freaking spice into it instead of just pointing and shooting all the diddly dang time. Like if they just would have added some more gameplay, some level and enemy variations with more secrets and side content. Heck, throw in some freaking chocobos with a minigun or just some good old fashioned effort. Instead, we got great concepts swirling around a bowl of pudding. A boring, bland bowl of pudding. With a lady who won't shut up. You're wrong, you're wrong! God, I hate Lucretia so much legit. Ugh. You know, maybe I like this game a lot because I see what it could have been. A great JRPG shooter with Vincent Valentine kicking butt and taking names and looking cute while doing it. But alas, we got this. But maybe one day, my baby will get justice. I'm still holding out on you, honey. Don't think I'll let go. I will never let go. It's okay. It's just a shame people forgot about Dirge of Cerberus. But then again, I don't blame them for forgetting about it. Good God, time to take a nap. I'm out.